Okay. Hey, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Viktor Sadovnikov, and I'm a freelancer here that happened to work for the last few months uh, with Container Solutions. And I'm going to present, the, as Pino already announced, the Elk on Mesos. Actually, not really on Mesos, just because I was well, maybe a bit too lazy. Uh, it's going to run on Mini Mesos, also a small project which is developed over here. So everything will be shown in mini methods and uh, well, we also have done it on the, in the Google Cloud, it's supposed to be working there too. Um, I was just wondering, uh, since a lot of familiar faces from the um, Circus Wonderland, is there a need to explain what ELK is and or what methods is? Mm, sounds well, like... I, I, wouldn't, I would like that. You would like that. Okay, just <laughs> quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Okay, so uh, Mesos, um, that's more about ELK. Oh, let's start with ELK. Okay, ELK actually stands, this is an abbreviation. E is from Elasticsearch, L from the Logstash, and K from Kibana. These are three products from uh, Elasticsearch company, I believe, the, the same uh, vendor. Uh, the Elasticsearch is just in the service uh, on top of Lucene search engine, uh, which has the REST, inter, uh, REST API and is capable to index your data and also then to process the query results. The Logstash is uh, another product from the company which is capable of getting the different inputs, like log files, or it can also get just real data from different uh, sources process this somehow and then put it to other output, outputs. And quite common use of it is just that a log stash has been installed to monitor the log files and push the results to Elasticsearch so these logs can be uh, browsed, cured and uh, well, they've been kept in Elasticsearch in the searchable form. And Kibana, since Elasticsearch doesn't have really the uh, interface by itself, uh, it's all accessible through the REST, uh, REST calls. The Kibana is basically just a static website which allows you to browse the data which is kept in the Elasticsearch. Uh, which, what is then so interesting about the ELK on Mesos is just that because in Mesos you don't have the stable situation. So in Mesos uh, your jobs which produce the data, in, in this demo it will be log files, um, applications can disappear just because there was a bug and it's gone and then it will be restored in another place. So by the time you figure out what went wrong with your application, the application is not there anymore and you still need to have access to the log, to the logs just to, to see what exactly is go, going wrong. And that's what makes this situation quite interesting here. So what I have done before the presentation, I have started the Mesos, mini Mesos cluster let me check if it's still up and running. Yes. As with uh, mini methods, every... Oh, do this. Okay. Yeah. With mini methods, every element of the cluster are presented by a Docker container that you can see over here. So, and I have, uh, what we see here is the uh, methods interface that's presented. Currently, it has no active tasks just because you saw I really just started it. Uh, and no completed task, therefore. Although it does have the framework, uh, the marathon framework, which is installed as a part of mini message cluster anyway. And uh, there here we see the marathon framework itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to install now all three frameworks, framework for Elasticsearch, for the log station, for Kibana, as frameworks for methods. And uh, I'd like to show you the first one. I'll start with Elasticsearch. And there is a reason for that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Elasticsearch, why do I start with Elasticsearch? Because the log stash has to push data to Elasticsearch. Therefore, it needs to know where Elasticsearch is. And then Kibana will be reading data from Elasticsearch. So Kibana needs a tool. And Elasticsearch is quite independent from all of them. So this JSON file is an uh, installation task for Marathon. So we're going to use that Marathon which is pre-installed which just says this long path to the draw file uh, with the framework code and it says just run the Java and uh, these are the requirements for the job that they want to have and this just keep one instance. What this process is, is actually the scheduler for the Elasticsearch framework. 
Uh, let me start it. Me, ni, me, sos, install, build, elastic, search, java, j, json. Yep, it has installed it. Well, actually, hopefully it installed it. So it's, uh, the marathon immediately says it's running. Uh, so far, we still do not see the additional framework just because Mesos takes a little bit time to refresh and we see the schedule running and it schedule itself already is responsible to scheduler starts receiving the offers from the uh, Mesos master, responds to them and says, okay, I actually would like to run the two nodes of the Elasticsearch. If we come back to the framework of Elasticsearch, open it. And here we have a magic UI, which shows the interface of the well, Elasticsearch framework itself. And that will tell us that we have two nodes running, exactly as we saw in Mesos itself. So now uh, the next step would be, and I have a little script over here. Yep. OK. Now we need to install the uh, Logstash and Kibana. For them, so far, we do need to do a manual operation like of grabbing an IP address of one of the nodes. That's going to be resolved as in mental SF, and we are now working on resolving that in mini methods as well. So we would have just a fixed location, fixed URL for the Elasticsearch as a service. Now we have to pick one victim node. And I'm opening the Logstash uh, installation description which is a little bit different. And here I'll put the ZIP <coughs> address. OK. So here it is. Uh, the log stash. Um, the log stash installation will say, I don't have really a, a Java process for you or something like that to run. I have a container. So it just tells, OK. Please bring up this container and uh, set this environment variables when it's running. Just to save time, I will change the configuration of the Kibana as well. This one done in the style like the elastic switch is happening. So I'll log stash docker based JSON. Okay, and we do the Kibana, Kibana Java, JSON. Okay, and we come back to the Marathon, just to see whether Marathon is happy with this, yes. So it claims now that the, I have three tasks, and they're all running. If we take a look at Mesos, all the running tasks, yes, they are running. Except that I'm missing currently the Kibana. Okay. The third, fourth. Uh, yes, uh, but that's a scheduler. It's not really the. It's not the task. So we have asked to run the Kibana, and it, it, it's running now. But for whatever reason, it does not, or has not started yet, an actual executor, which would be serving the website. So uh, meanwhile. That's what happens with live videos or demos. Well, we didn't complain anything about them. OK, I'm afraid that I will have to skip the Kibana demonstration part. Uh, but what we are missing currently from this picture is that we have installed the, well, nearly installed Kibana, we have installed the Elasticsearch and we have installed the Logstash, but we don't have the application yet that would log the data. For that one, uh, I have prepared a small, again, marathon installation file, which just says, uh, okay, get this script file and run it. What does that script file do? It sets a few 
variables and keeps on logging to this file. So that's a just simple, as well, the simplest log produce I, uh, I could come up with. And uh, actually the Marathon file uh, says that make sure that the three copies of the same application is running. Therefore, if I install it, app json, uh, what we will have is that in Elastic's framework itself, we will see data coming in. Yeah, so the data st started to appear in the Elastic search. And if this guy changed its mind and it did bring Kibana, no, it did not. I would be able to show how to how to query the data in Kibana. Uh, just being in that room with a different network uh, and verifying this, uh, what we were able to do is also that uh, this is the running login application over there. If we were playing with the changing configuration of this just on the way, on the run. So we were increasing the number of in running instances. So the matter of what you can do is just on the run, decreasing this, increasing it again. And be it, because of the way how the log is configured, so it was for every task, it was creating a unique string and also it was printing out the host name. We could see how things are actually were nicely balanced. So those nodes uh, of login application that have disappeared, they are gone, but their logs are still in Elasticsearch. And even if you go into that container, particular container, and killing the login application, then Marathon was taking care of restarting this instance right away. And we could see in the, in the Kibana as well, right, as also that app, your application been restarted and therefore it got another task ID, uh, but it still keeps running and logging. Um, that I think would complete my demonstration right now. A big round of applause, please. <laughs>